Alumni Hall in Providence, Rhode Island. Big East basketball reps back up after the short holiday break. Today it's the Providence Friars welcoming in the DePaul Blue Demons. Happy holidays, everybody. John Fanta joined by my partner, Andy Katz. For these DePaul Blue Demons, they are so happy to be back playing. Let's take a look at our starting lineup sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. For Providence, David Duke and Nate Watson leading the way. They've combined for 52% of the team's total scoring. Who are you watching for for DePaul? I'll tell you, it's the big man in the middle. Workouts like that, you can't simulate what it means to be a high-level athlete, and conditioning is going to take some time. Duke from distance. Hoping you can do to take some of that pressure off of Charlie Moore. That was the issue for the Blue Demons last year. Tough finish. Finds themselves just in a four-point game. Weems from deep. Duke, a freight train all the way. A couple of weeks ago, John, we're seeing even more aggressive drives from David Duke. Weems again. Duke up ahead to Nichols, who lays it in with the left hand. And DePaul just one for six. Both teams struggling from distance. Reverse isn't good. Watson with the board. Duke to Reeves. Ed Cooley was looking for Reeves to attack. Just been popped in and out, and others wasn't as shot ready as what we saw in that highlight we can revisit a little later uh, against Seton Hall. Duke, Cola, silky smooth. Providence has its largest lead. I'm out in college, but I can tell you. Some would be surprised. Weems eats into double figures. Drive on Horkler. And stop for the Friars. Providence looking to run every time down. Duke takes the... I know they lost him every time. Right now, they're only one of the... Now three on the timer. Moore's got a hoist. Ran out of time need to be launching threes, and that's not probably what the team needs from you. Not everyone should be doing that. Gant nearly got the steal. Weems with the extra pass to Javon Freeman. Played a really complimentary of his energy. Weems has brought the energy and the scoring down. Holly Cap couldn't hit. Friars looking to run. They've got a four on three. Duke up on the housetop. David Duke going up high. And flushing it right near the John Fanta cutout. Eight for 11 from distance. Duke with 10 on the shot clock. Fader got it. Lopez. Reeves from Duke. You're down four or five before you even start the game. You gotta make it up. But now, with no fans, he says it's basically it's a coin toss. Weems got a step and scored it. DePaul is within one. More alley-oop. That was sent away by Duke. Now Providence has numbers. Five on two. Gant alley-oop from Duke. Two-point game. Great. Well, this has to be David Duke time. Eight on the shot clock. Duke heard you and draw. Prove massive down the stretch. Freeman Liberty. Providence has numbers. Three on two. Gant up ahead. It's a one point. Watson with the turnover. Duke stripped by Weems. What a defensive play. But Moore gives it right back. Just have to settle down. Now, Providence settling down on this possession. Providence with two timeouts. DePaul has three. DePaul had an issue last season where they were having trouble finishing games. Duke all the way. And DePaul in the free throw line. Freeman Liberty with the kick. Weems for the lead. He got it. Romeo Weems. He was an All-Big East freshman member last season. He's playing like a first-team. Romeo Weems, just right there in front of the bench. Look at that emotion. Yeah. 
going to have to be really crisp with their passes and strong with the basketball. Duke with 10 on the shot clock. Duke had the ball in his hands in key moments. He gets rejected by Polycap. And 10 seconds now. Now with eight, it's Gant to Reeves. Reeves for the tie. We're even at 74. Here's Moore with three. Moore with two. More for the win. We are going to overtime in Providence. And as a result, Polycap took it. More off to Weems. We're even again. Games again. Gant launches. Hall with the board. Hall looking to give DePaul the lead back. Had it taken from him by Reeves. Reeves up ahead of the pack. It's Duke. 83 81 Providence. Duke with 10. Duke with six. The kick. Reeves again. Weems with the board. DePaul can win it here. Moore with four. Moore with two. Moore got stripped. And we are heading to double overtime. Did you have... Duke down the lane. And in traffic puts it... Foul on Weeps. And, uh, and now a scramble for it with 10 on the shot clock. Gant nearly lost it. Reeves with five. Bynum with three. Bynum with a prayer. They lost basically sight of the shot clock, or at least they weren't paying attention there in the final seconds. Weems nearly lost it. Fighting for it, and he was out of bounds. It goes back to the Friars, who have come up. Any foul will give them two free throws. Duke will take them. And Cooley was saying, you cannot. Duke now. You're to be a major factor, I feel that, for this team. Bynum did miss both. Here's Elvis. That's picked off. Only momentarily, a heave for Freeman Liberty is off. Providence finds a way in a double overtime thriller. What a tremendous game here on a late Sunday afternoon in December. DePaul, their second game of the season where they score 90 or more points, and Providence survives showing 